Hello everyone, welcome to another Fallout 76 mission walkthrough. Today we're going to talk about the mission Flavors of Mayhem. You can get this mission right after completing Signal Strength at the top of the world. And you start with this task to mod Rose's Syringer with a Karma Barrel. You need Steel Scrap, a Psycho, um, Firecracker Berries and Glowing Resin. To get the last two items, you can head to this location in the map. So it's not that common to find it. It took me a little while to find, especially the firecracker berries. But in here, there is plenty for you to get. Um, you only need one resin and two berries. So you can get the two at the same location. You only have to head to the location I have shown you or any other location if you know there are also resin uh, and firecracker berries. For the other two items, uh, steel scrap is very very common. You only need to basically scrap steel items. And a psycho, I mean, I don't think that's an issue. I always have psychos in my uh, inventory, so I didn't really um, include how to get them. If you don't have them, then try to visit a shop, you know, like a, 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 a robot vendor or something alike. There are plenty of shops across uh, the map, so you can easily find one. The other solution is to craft it if you have the required items and the recipes to craft the Psycho and, well, steel scrap, you just again need to scrap items that are made of steel it's very um, straightforward if you are having some difficulties finding the firecracker berries then just be patient and look around very closely as you can see i easily found the first berry and then i was wondering if there were any more around it took me around 5-10 minutes to find the second one. But since I had no idea where else I could find it, I decided to keep searching around the area I was and I eventually found it. They are very orange-red, so that helps to identify them uh, in the middle of the forest, you know, that if they are a lot of trees, a lot of grass, and it's very easy to spot if there is a, a firecracker berry. Once you have your materials, you can head back to your base, a camp, or any place with a weaponsmith uh, crafting station. You need to look for a rose's syringe, and then you can start mudding it. Don't forget to select the karma mode because that's the one Rose is, uh, is requesting from you. Exactly this one. You have all the items, you can just click space to make and that's it. Your challenge is complete. The first one. You will receive a mission update. Rose basically asks you to use the syringer to shoot um, a bear. They are called uh, Wow Guai in Fallout. So you need to head out to this uh, location in the north. You can simply teleport to a nearby location. If you haven't discovered this part of the map, like in my case, then you need to walk a lot. I, I have cut most of my walking because it's necessary to include in this mission walkthrough. But once you get close to the location, be careful because it will attack you and it does a lot of damage. It's uh, it depends on your level, of course, but if you are not that high, it can easily kill you. So be careful. 
The tricky part about this task is that you only have to shoot it with the syringer. Even though Rosie um, asks you to shoot and then kill it, once you shoot it, you have roughly two minutes to kill the the YY. But in the end, you only have to survive or let the two minutes pass by. I, I didn't kill it and I still got to the next task, so that's no problem. Don't waste your ammo or food, your resources, because it's very, very difficult to kill. And if you're low level, it's basically impossible to do it. But don't worry. Everything will be fine. As you can see, I barely do damage to it, and I'm free firing on it. So, this is just a small showcase of how the fight looks like if you actually try to fight it. Using a melee weapon is really not smart here, because he will attack you repeatedly and you can hardly get out of his claws. As you see, the time ran out, I didn't kill it and next task is up already. As you heard Rose, now you have a new objective, which is to craft an explosive bait. You can head out, you can run away if you can, you don't need to fight or kill it or anything, this part is over. But you're going to need new ingredients to craft the explosive bait. So you need to head to a tinker's workbench to craft your new item. You can go back to base or visit any Tinker's workbench. I decided to go back to my friend's camp. Just click on mines and then explosive bait and you can see all the items that you need to craft it. Adhesive, copper, fragment, mine and a special type of meat. You can head to this location in the map to easily and quickly find the meat you need. So you go to the start and I remember this because I went across the street and I remember seeing a corpse in the floor which had this type of meat. So I went there to check it out again. And voila! You know, it was there. So I do believe it will be there for you as well. For everyone in this case. You can also kill one of these animals if you stumble upon them. They are not that rare. But they are also not so common to find. Here it is, a rat stag yearling, and they drop meat and hide. And that's everything you need to craft. I just went back and I craft my explosive meat. So for the other items, I, I find them very common. I had them in my inventory. I didn't even need to check my storage or anything. They are very common items. So again, if you have any issues finding them, just visit a vendor or trade with your friends or just kill some goals and you will, uh, you know, find the items around, just scavenge a little bit. 
You craft it and you get, again, a mission update. The next task is a bit to the south. It's in the mountains. It took me a little bit to figure it out because I have a few quests. So it's right there. Luckily I have already discovered that location. So I only had to teleport there and run a little bit to the mission location. Uh, be aware that in this part of the map, there are a lot of goals. I died uh, before I came here because there are buildings and it's crowded with them inside. So if you go too close or if you shoot something, they will come all at you at once. So now you have to throw your explosive bait into these dogs with a weird name. I wonder why they all have a strange name in this game because they are infected or something. Just like, you know, infected humans are scorch or ghouls. There you go. I throw it at them. It takes a little bit to explode. It's like a timed grenade. Explode! Bang! There. You got yet another mission now. I don't know much about their special tactics. Do they have any? Which is make friends with a very iconic monster, beast, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, the next location is very close to the top of the world, so I suggest traveling there. Then you can make your way up. Uh, the Death Claw is in the middle of the mountains, literally. So if you try to go from the top, you will probably die trying to reach it. I, I tried it at first, but it's just too high to climb. So I had to go from the bottom part. It's quite straightforward. You just have to go around the bottom of the mountains until you see a defined path that goes upwards towards the location um, in your map. Like this. So you just go a little bit up and to the corner you will see a dead claw and you might be thinking but how can i be friends with it what the hell i also wondered the same thing i first tried to go stealthy you know i tried you know to do an emote just because but all you have to do is get close to it and click your action button which in my case it's E you will get the option make friends exactly like this so go ahead I know it's scary but you have to get some balls of steel in this case get close to him get hit a few times <laughs> and you know be friends with him uh, don't ask me what happened here He's moonwalking. I guess he doesn't like me much. And he hits really hard. I managed to click the right button before I died, so that's something. Then you can just get the hell out of there. If you can, of course. I, I couldn't. He kept chasing me and he eventually killed me. 
But that's okay. The important is to get the quest update, which uh, you will if you click the right button. Doesn't matter if you die. And then you can check your next mission location. You basically need to steal items from mutants at the relay tower. I had already discovered this area, so I just had to teleport. If you didn't, you have to walk there and kill a few mutants. Most of them are quite easy to kill, but there is one or two that, you know, they are level 15. So be careful, there is also two turrets in the building. The good part is that they drop some decent loot and the experience is also nice. On the other hand, my weapons don't do that much damage, so let's punch them or hit them with a freaking pickaxe. Why the hell not? You need to go inside and kill this mean guy who doesn't want to die, but he will die eventually. I am stronger than him. He never stood a chance. I was just giving him hope. Chokes aside, mutants are very difficult to um, kill. Fun fact, there is um, a strength trophy here, at least for me, it was there, right in the um, right side, you can see him from that perspective. And here are the item that you have to steal, which is a missile uh, launcher. There is also something to repair, but this is not part of the quest, I decided to try it anyway. There is nothing much in the terminal. Just a little bit of lore for you to experience. So here is the bobblehead I was talking about. The next task is to kill a feral gull. The location is very, very in the south. And sadly, I didn't have anything discovered there, so I had to walk a lot. But I eventually got there. It's at RNG Processing Services, and you basically only need to kill a feral gull. It's a specific one. And once you do it, you're pretty much done. You can freely engage. There is only two here. I couldn't find any more. It's this one. The mission is a bit buggy because at first it doesn't tell you anything, so I kept searching for more. But then it pops. And that's it! Your mission is basically completed. There is an optional um, part, which you can be a cannibal with a perk and something you like. I didn't do it. 
uh, I don't have the perk either way, so I wouldn't be able to do it. You, ha you only have to head back to the top of the world, um, go to the last floor, and talk to Rose, and, and that's pretty much it. You have finally done your flavors of Mayhem. Be careful with the scorpions, they are always here when I come. And honestly, I just evade them by now. Third level, don't forget, it's the last one. You might have to talk with uh, Rose one or two times. It took me two times, she didn't respond to my first uh, attempt to talk to her. So there you go, the mission is complete and you get tons of rewards. You also get another mission. Which is a must do if you want to do the missing link uh, mission. Because you need to get Rose's trust first in order to proceed in that mission. There you go. Key to the past is the next uh, mission from Rose. That's going to be all for me today. I am Marta Branco and I hope this video was useful for you in any way. If so, please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!